welcome friends to the 10th video of Terraform series. So I am Vikas, welcome to my channel and in today's video series I will be demonstrating about how we can use map of object. This is a new variable type has been uh, declared in Terraform. Along with that we will see how we can use for each loop on map. Okay, so if you don't know how to use for each loop, please uh, watch out my previous video in the same playlist you will get. So let's go to the lab. Okay, so let's uh, let me close all the things. Okay, so see the same way map will help you to create multiple resources at a time, and this is also will be a detailed detailed format of something. Okay, so going forward, you will see that it is a very useful thing. Okay, so now our task is we have to create multiple AWS VPC and we have to set these all values, right? So let's go ahead and let's declare a variable of map of object type. So let's create a variable. So just name the variable like VPCs. This is the name of the variable and here you have to write the type of this variable that is map of so object along with that so this is the thing you have to write along with that you have to now mention all the values going forward you will use so that is cidr block equals to here you have to pass the value so let me use this value this will be the cidr block value okay now going what is the next next is instance tenancy okay so before that passing this value what you have to do first you have to define directly you can't pass the value right so here we have to pass multiple values so what we will do the cidr block is what it, it is a type of so now you have to define the variable types cidr equals to string value this is right this is in written in the double quotes so string after that what is the second uh, that is our instance instance tenancy you can use the same name no problem instant tenancy is also a type of string right so that is string and again we have tags here tags uh, tags is of what type tags is of type like you can see here key and value it means that is a map type right map type of string correct so let's go ahead and let's declare this as well map of string okay so once this is done so from here you will start writing your default so once you will hit enter see you got the structure right so now here you will define all the values fine so let me do one thing let's name it as one cidr what will be the cidr here you will pass all the values so this is the first value i want to pass this is done what will be the instance tenancy let it be by default uh, to default itself okay and uh, there is the key and value for the uh, this let's copy this and okay so this is done so in the sa same manner you can do what you can create one more variable so this is ending here just take a copy of it paste here this key value make sure that should be unique so this is two now and this uh, i'm changing it to different c idea now 24 okay and here i'm keeping this instance tenancy as by default the same and here let's change the name of the tag and here you can okay so once this is done here let me name it different this is for div and this is for Broad. correct so once this is done just come back to the resource block so here we have to call these all things right one by one these all block should be called here so let's use the for each equals to var dot vpc is what is the name of the uh, variable you are using your map of object name is vpcs vpcs so this is done now we have to call each and every value right 
so how you will call simply write each dot value dot what are the name this is the name right the same name you have to copy and paste here as well so once this is done in the same manner everywhere you will do the same copy this each dot value and here what is the name of instance tenancy we have provided here go up and see okay this is the name just take it fine and here in the tag section how you will call so here again in the same manner you will do what each dot value dot tags so what name we have given same name okay so this is done so let's go ahead and this is the structure right like like this we have to write now let's run this code and let's see if we are having any issues with that so that we can fix it data from plan let's wait for a moment okay typo data form plan hit enter okay so you can see string is string okay so the type we have declared that is string right okay one more typo i got just hit enter again for data form plan and let's wait for a second so here you can see right uh, this is a map of string correct okay so what is the issue here these all are a single string right and this is <coughs> not a normal string right this is what this is a map of a string right this is not a correct way to pass right so it should it will not pick up so how you will pass this so just go there each dot value and here you have to provide the name of the tags like this you have to pass so what is the name of the tag this is tags itself just copy this paste here control save let's wait until it get executed so again you can see element name or uh, string required okay so let's go back to the code it is asking for a string okay name name should be okay let's make it as a string here okay so i'm passing here now a string okay that is fine let's go ahead and let's do plan again so here along with the error we are doing because so that we will have a better understanding right so here we are not passing multiple values right okay so what you have to do here like see if you have multiple values then only you can write like this right but here what we want we want multiple values at a time correct so that format should be same here control c control v okay along with that here we are passing the tags let's okay so this is a correct way right you can't write here like this so you can see here plan has been successful and here it is showing two resources to be add so this is the way let me quickly walk you through the by this so how you have wrote like type equals to map of map of inside a, a small bracket this object under object you will have a, 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 again a small bracket okay inside the small bracket you have curly braces okay so you can see it is ending with two small braces right so once you will write default it will take all the values again you have to make sure that this key should be always unique right okay so in the last we have seen like why we are passing like this because this is not a type of uh, normal string right this is a type of map of a string here so what i have done here you can see each dot value and you have to pass like this 
so you can pass multiple values also no issues like you can see okay uh, e and v let's pass it like some environment environment value i want to pass right let's let's say let this okay let's leave this again do plan and in the earlier you can see we were having just name for this also name for this as well but in the second one we have a given now two tags right so let's wait for a second okay so you can see here right this in the tag section now in the second vpc in the tag section we have environment environment equals to two now and in the first we have not passed it is same so the so like this way you can pass multiple tags as well so no problem so please make sure that you are concentrating on this part because going forward this is going to be very important for ourselves so let's let's finish this uh, for today this is this was for today only let's close this session for today so, okay thanks for watching see you in the next video